You're listening to Jonesy's Jukebox on Cal OS. That was the Velvet Underground. I'm waiting for the man. And Mott the Hoople all the way from Memphis. And it is 11 minutes after 12 bells on a Thursday. It's beautiful out. I rode my bike in today. Went to uh, Ear One. Bought five pieces of potato for 50 bucks. <laughs> And then I went to Bartels, Harley Davidson, bought a couple of t shirts. I'm wearing one now. If anyone cares, no one cares. <laughs> Is that a Harley you're driving? No. It's a BMW. Is it? It's unmarked. But I do have I I do have two Harleys. That's a that's a chunky BMW. Now, did you see I went, it? I went outside and checked it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh it's it's like Batman's bike or something. Yeah. Nice. I love it. It's like there's only eighty of them in, in the States. It's, wow. It was a period of time when they, uh, in 2007, 2008, where they only made a few of them. They're handmade. They're called HB2 Mega Motor. That's what that's called. But I, I stripped it, put big tanks on it, painted it. Just I can't help it. I don't have kids, so that's what I do. <sighs> nice. You know nice. what I mean? Ah, oh, the freedom. Oh, are you guys both married? Or have yeah. kids? Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. I think Reese has like twelve or fifteen kids. <laughs> I have three. Three. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you, and you like it? Oh, it's the best. It's the best. Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Undoubtedly. <I'm> <laughs> <laughs> oh man, we're here with Jake Busey. Yes, sir. And Reese Corio. Coiro. That's why I said Coro. Corio. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I was going to mess that up. Did you get that a lot? Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's it's a, a ridiculously little, hard name. Is that a stage name or is that your real name? <laughs> uh, it's the real one. Mm. Is that um, Italian then? It is an Italian yeah. name. And the first name is a Welsh name. Yeah, Reese's. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. How'd that come about? Yeah, right? my grandmother was a Welsh lady who came to Pennsylvania when she was seven, you know, to mine coal. And what was her last name? <laughs> Her last name was French, and then she married Louis Coiro, Italian guy. <laughs> nice. That's what America's all about. Bring everything together. Yeah, melting pot. Yeah. That's, that's bizarre, man. Could I? My last name's Jones, obviously. Yeah, that's Welsh. But I have no Welsh in me. No. I did one of them uh, tests, you know, the old uh, swab thing. Yeah, yeah. Does it get that specific? To I, I don't mm -hmm. even know if it's any of it's true. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> you know, but it did say that I was 28% Irish. That was right. a shock to me. I didn't know that. It's always a shock. Well, the commercial has the guy that, you know, he was wearing the later hosen forever and he right. traded in for a kilt. Right? Yeah. So. Well, now they're selling your, all your genetic information to Beautiful somebody. Thing. Beautiful thing. You're in the system now. Yeah. I don't think you can avoid... Being, being in, in the, the system. system? No, you can't. If you have an iPhone, you're yeah. in the system. Yeah. Deep in the system. Do you believe that, that they're listening if they want to, even when you, like right now when your phone's just sitting there and you're not on they it? They are. I'll tell you what, Steve. My friend pointed this out to me and I didn't want to believe it. So we're, we're, we're talking on the phone. Um, and we're talking about... Um, you know, I said to him, you know, ten, before I was a father 10 years ago, I wish that I had bought a street bike and had gone riding with you in the hills. <laughs> <laughs> we, is this live? Live, live. I, I mean, I said, we're old suckers. And, yeah, that's uh, it. And uh, we, uh, <laughs> you know, we, uh, I wish that I'd had that opportunity because we rode dirt bikes when we were a kid and, uh, and so I said, your Ducati Monster was amazing, and I even I loved the Triumph 675 even more, and I wish I would have gotten the, one of those. We hung up. Yeah, two minutes and, later. And two minutes later, he's, he, he calls me back and says, you know, we hung up the phone, and the first thing that I saw on my computer was an advertisement for Ducati Monsters yeah. on, on his thing. Yeah. And that, to me, it just blew me away. It's that just it's uh, algorithms, right? They hear certain things, but it but it ain't someone there, like <laughs> outside in a van, <laughs> right? <laughs> With the real to real world. Yeah, yeah. Go, mm, mm. Well, it could be though, although it could be. But but it does tell you that if someone did want to chime in and hear all your stuff, it's easily done. 
Right? Scary. Computer. Scary. Internet. You're surround, we're surrounded by internet everywhere. I don't yeah. know, and it's, and it's probably going to get worse. I, I, I'm, I'm terrified of, of uh, having a relieve myself in, in public. <laughs> you know, like on a tree. You know, like yeah. when you've got to go yeah. and you find a tree. Yeah. I'm, right. I'm worried there's a camera in the tree. Oh, mm. th you know, there might well be. Uh, it's, it is pretty scary. It's over in Angleland. They got cameras everywhere. Yeah, uh, that, they, that's where it all started. The yeah. CCTV, they, uh -huh. they have them everywhere. Mm -hmm. I've been, I've, I heard that uh, the average person leaves their house, and by the time they get back to their house uh, in the course of their errands for the day, they've been filmed 30 times at least. Yeah. I think it's even more insane in China. Mm -hmm. I think they they really uh, wow like they they like if someone's crossing the crosswalk, yeah. they can get your face, zoom in on your face and, and find out exactly who you are. Wow! Through uh, technology, it's the end of the world. Mm -hmm. Well, I tell you what, things were better back uh, before all this stuff, and we had a little bit of freedom and anonymity. Yeah, and like, going back, uh -uh, uh -uh. it was great when I was a teenager. No cameras. Yeah. No nothing. He can get away with uh I know I did a lot doing stupid stuff. Even even just, you know, banal stupid stuff. Or just, just anything. Doesn't hurt yeah. anyone, but just, you know, now you're caught on tape with everything you do. Yeah. 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 Well, our guys in uh Dead Ant didn't have to deal with that. And we lead into the movie. <laughs> right. They they were not the kind of guys that worried about being filmed. No. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about the movie. All right. It's called Dead Ant. Yeah, dead end, dead end, dead end, dead end, dead end, dead end, dead end. I watched, I watched about three quarters of it last night. Nice. At, at about two thirty in the morning, and then you <laughs> fell into a fitful sleep of nightmare. I didn't sleep. <laughs> it, it took me forever. That's why I had to stop it. I had to stop it like before the end because I'm like, ah, oh, I've got to sleep. It's a lot of stimulation. I'm normally a <laughs> bed by like uh, at ten, eleven o'clock. I'm asleep. Oh, right. That's good. That's so. Good. Who directed it? A fellow by the name of Ron Carlson. Is he? Is he? Is Ron's good, amazing. He's a, he's a good fellow. Yeah. Has he done a lot? Of, has he done other stuff? He's done a bunch of eccentric movies. Yeah, he does movies like Dead Ant. Only Dead Ant, I think, is his sort of penultimate uh, effort. It's, it's coup, uh, coup de grace. Yeah, yeah, it's his coup de grace at this point. <laughs> I mean, he's. He's, uh, he, you know, girls in bikinis, uh, swimming in the North Pole in the ocean, uh, kind of avant-garde, different things. Uh, it's almost like, uh, it's almost like um, faster pussycat. <laughs> yeah, I suppose that sort of <laughs> mindset. What's it, what was that guy's name? Um, Russ Meyer. Russ Meyer. Kind of, yeah. Oh, he's an old friend of my dad's, actually. Yeah. 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 yeah he's got it's 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 a. It's a kind of like a B movie. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, gleefully, yeah, cult, gleefully, culty, silly. And there was a time period though that the the B movie was just about the, as as good as that particular person could offer, right? That was them shooting for the moon, and and that was what mm. their offering was, and uh, that was nice. <laughs> and uh, I'm glad everyone. you called it. And then, you got good ears. <laughs> and this one, this you know, this is intentionally. A, a 70s looking uh what do you call it not a disaster film horror film but yeah. uh, creature film. creature film it's uh. it's supposed to have that look and uh sort of that energy so all them big ants yeah yeah what there wasn't one that was actually that size or was it all superimposed they had one puppet I that think we, they did, we, there's yeah. one scene where it's a where it's like a, an actual latex ant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it was. Uh, it popped through the window of the motorhome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was really. I had to grab the antenna. Yeah. And it was covered in goo. And, and strangely, as much as you know that it's foam and latex and rubber and all this, it it is unnerving to deal with when it's coming at you and they're shaking it and you yeah, know, your mind kind of goes yeah. there. You know. Uh, and you, you, I did get a little scared. I gotta say, I gotta say. Did you, did you do any homework about ants? A little bit, a little bit. Because I, I, I talk about it all the time. I always get yeah. bleeding ants, especially when it rains. Right. They gotta come up because yeah. they're, they're down there in their tunnels. Oh, right, right. And I always seem to get them. All the time. Well, that's good. You got something on me because I mean, it's. So you haven't done your homework on ants. 
it's tough. Well, I use all these different things, like cinnamon and all these <laughs> things, you know. And Cardamom. They yeah. <laughs> they yeah. don't seem to care. Yeah. Uh, I spray them with Dr. Bronner's mixed with water. Yeah. It's a, it's death and from above. And, yeah. <laughs> it's like it's like Agent Orange. Yeah. It's not vitamin C. Yeah, I, I just... Uh, but it's all I, natural. You're killing them nicely. Yeah. I, I, um, I, you know, you get on YouTube, so I got that stuff. It's like borax right. with sugar. Oh. And you mix that up and you put that out close to a trail and they like that it's just a lot of messing about i'd rather just get them little yeah things you buy in the store and they, yeah. they're all gone i had i had them coming in from four different angles yeah well reese had him coming in now uh, he was having to bat him away with a guitar <laughs> yeah in the movie <laughs> yeah uh they were a little a little more substantial yeah unfortunately so when is this out right now or is it uh, tomorrow. 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 tomorrow, tomorrow, yeah, on demand everywhere in the, at the Beverly Hills Lemley, Lemley Theater yeah. in the city of Beverly Hills. Yeah, I think, Beverly Hills. I think that is the one on the uh, Wiltshire, isn't it? By uh, by um, um, Doheny there. Probably. I don't know that. that sounds right. Too well. Anyway, uh, um, there's a lot of uh, who did the casting. There's there's a lot of. Nice birds in it. <laughs> um, yeah, great, for that. great, great, great group of people. Right? Great group of people. Some good-looking birds in there. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I really got along well with uh, with the gal playing uh, my girlfriend, and and we, you know, oh, just Cameron. consequently, we wound Beautiful. up spending Wonderful. a lot of time together. Mm -hmm. and yeah, she's mm -hmm. such a sweet, sweet person. You know, just she made it. I feel like she made my job really easy. Yeah. The very first take on film that we did was in the motorhome and we're yeah. having this conversation uh I, I guess it's kind of in line with the story and and reese is sitting there with his guitar yeah. and um so ron yells action and the camera's on the two of us uh, she and i as we're sitting there and you know 10 seconds into it groping she, she just leans over and just puts a big smacker on me and i was like Oh, that's how we're gonna start this. Okay, all right. <laughs> it's the method acting. Yeah, nice. yeah. And it, it, what it, it was a great icebreaker. Yeah. I think she might have seen that I was tense or whatever, but she just she got me to relax, and then the rest of it was just breezy, man. You know. You uh, you got the look down for the uh, <laughs> the, the mid mid is uh, Sunset Boulevard <laughs> to a T. <tea. laughs> it's great. Yeah, it's well, amazing. Yeah. Sunset Boulevard is the it's like frozen in time. I still think that there it's still that aesthetic still continues on. Yeah, don't you think? I mean, yeah. the guitar Zaris. the guitar center on Sunset Boulevard. Yeah, is still the whiskey. Holding it, on to that. Do you remember? Do you remember Gazzari's probably yeah. before your time? That was Gazzari's was. I mean, it closed like the year or the six months before I started going out on the town. There was a big shift. Yeah. Um, and there, that you know, but I missed out on. I heard all the stories from like the older brothers and stuff. Yeah. You know? uh, God, legendary joint. Yeah, it was from 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 the whiskey Gazzari's. to Gazzari's yeah. in like late eighties. I mean, on a weekend, a Friday and a Saturday, and, and in the week, but really on the weekends, it was like a, it was like a movie set. There yeah. was just people walking up and down. Yeah, it was bizarre. And I had a, I was right in there. I had my Harley. Yeah. I'm outside. No helmets, right? <laughs> with the long flowing hair. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Good times. I well, the first band that I was in that we you know started playing around town. Um, we were playing the Central. Yeah, and uh, and and the Whiskey, of course. And there was a joint called the Club with no name, which was on Highland. Yeah, and it was a little off the strip, but it was, you know, Dale ran that place. Was it a Globe and later? Called the globe. Might have been. Yeah. Might have been. And um, we, you know, all of those, you know, the coconut teaser yeah, and, yeah. and uh, the club lingerie. Yes. Was, uh, we, I, you know, what an interesting thing to go back to and think about like 91 or something, which was right after that, right after that period. It all kind of just went dead. It, it did. And my band, we opened for two unknown bands that we, we wound up thinking were pretty cool. And, um, 
one of them was uh, was Tool, and then the 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 main act was Rage Against the Machine. Yeah. Mm. And those guys are buddies, right? They're all friends, and they they kind of the bands formed around you know friendships. But it was really interesting to be on the in that strip arena, right as it was changing, changing. and you're sort of seeing this change of the guard of no longer the spandex pants with yeah. the red stripes and the cowboy boots, but yeah. then just people just wearing their normal clothes on yeah. stage. It was um, it was kind of a refreshing change, but this movie does bring us back to that moment where the theatrics and the the, the pyrotechnics and the, those guys with the makeup. I think people like that era. Yeah. What's that band that does a, that, that copies them? They play. A, oh, the the Steel Panther. Yeah. Yeah. What, what's <laughs> the one from Lawstaffed? Where? <laughs> You know Lower Stuff, England? Uh, I was lower Stuff? You're probably saying it wrong. <laughs> lower Stuff. <laughs> lower Stuff? They had that one. It's like you probably say the River Thames. <laughs> yeah, it's it's, it's Gloucester, isn't it? Gloucester, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that we're Chestershire sauce. That's, uh, that's good stuff. Excellent. <laughs> say it again. The, I, there was a they they were maybe the town the low, lower stuff. It's in uh, that's definitely wrong. It just in, doesn't it's in sound Suffolk. right. Suffolk, Suffolk's right. It's in uh, it's like a it's like a, a fishing town. I was there one time, and this was their claim to fame was this band. It was like a modern uh, modern the Who? darkness darkness the darkness from lower stuff. Let's hear the rats on the computer because it's I'm sure he, I'm sure he's saying it wrong. L lower stuff. Lower stuff. You're yeah. even trying to say it in English. Yeah, oh, well, yeah, yeah for low stuff, yeah, isn't it? Mate, low stuff, innit? Yeah, you know. Yeah, innit? Anything, nothing? Yeah, low stuff. Low, low stuff. Low stuff. L O W E stuff. You got low stuff? Low stuff. I've got some low who, stuff. Who I've got some low hanging that, that stuff. That water's man. deep, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Should we play some music? Yeah. We're here with Jake Busey and Rice. Rice <laughs> <Well>, Krispies. <laughs> I'll never forget that one. Oh, man. Reese? Hey, forget about it. Hey. <laughs> Corio. I did it again. That's not Corio. Cairo. Look, it's got it right here. You got, you got Koi, the, like the fish. Koi. Oh, like the fish. Ro. Yeah, okay. So you got Koi, fish, which fish, is a fish, and, and Ro is salmon eggs. There you yeah. go. Right. So he's just a fit Mr. Fishy. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> <Mr>. Fish. <laughs> okay, oh, let's, sorry, Reese. let's it's play a song. Nothing personal. <laughs> it's true. Let's play a song that's in your movie and you didn't know it was in it. All right. This yes. is Slade. Come and feel the noise. You're listening to Jonesy's Jukebox and KLOS. That was The Darkness, Solid Gold. Then we had Slade. Come and feel the noise. And we're here with Jake Busey. And Reese Cuero. Hey. Hey. Get it don't forget about right. it. Hey. There it is. That's yeah. it. Yeah. That's it. They have a movie out <coughs> called Dead Ant. Yeah. And you can uh, <laughs> see it. Amazon. Sniff it in. iTunes. DVD. DVD. Do people buy DVD? I don't time? know that they do anymore. Beta Max. But what I've been told is that you can get this however you want it. Well, I think that's the name of the game nowadays, yeah. right? <laughs> Streaming is. Yeah, yeah. I think we're uh, we've just come out of a revolution, and I think we've got a new way of hey, downloading it right into your brain frame. <laughs> so the DVD is March fifth. Oh really? If anyone's interested, oh. I thought it was. Uh, I thought it was tomorrow. Well, no, no that's the, the, the that's the move. That's the streaming. The DVD. Oh, okay. The actual the DVD. physical. Did I tell you guys that I'm old now <laughs> and I don't know this stuff anymore? How old are you? Forty. And some change. Fifty. Almost. 40, Somewhere in forty-eight. There. there you go. The mathematician. Yeah. Over there. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so, uh, did you do it in? Was you in Joshua Tree, where you shot the the, the peyote? It was like yeah, Vic, that it was, was like Victor. <laughs> yeah, uh, oh. somewhere like that. Desert, that desert, 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 yeah, yeah. right outside desert. of L.A. Yeah. yeah, yeah. How um, long did it take you to make? A month, I think. Yeah, a five weeks maybe. Something. You no, know, like we, we made this movie so long ago. 
that I had a line yeah. in the I had a line in the movie where I say where I say my character is forty something still yeah pulling, yeah still pulling yeah. twenty nothing yeah. Yeah. chicks and, and, and at even, the time at the time it, you know we made this movie it was more, three years ago we made it? I was still in high school <laughs> when we made this and, and I said to the director this is just hard for me to fathom and now I'm staring down the barrel of a big four zero coming up <laughs> he was planning <laughs> ahead. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't realize I'm a decade older than you. That's no wonder you're so much sexier than I am. I just you know, forget not, about it. It's all making sense now. He's still got he's still got the uh, yeah, you know that youthful bit. Yeah, you, know, <laughs> you get you get you get away with it. That's the yeah. You know, there's still a you know, and then you get to like fifty five, and all of a sudden you're invisible. Oh, just overnight, man. Oh. You are invisible. Well, I gotta say though. So, Jake, you're 48. You got two I, more I've years. Got, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, as much as we're here promoting our film, and we would love it if you go see Dead End, um, let's just just take a moment and and remember how great of an actor Steve is, and talk about how great he is. Because I watched Californication with uh, with a fervor, with a vengeance. I I love that show. Uh, it mirrored my existence at the time in my 30s uh, quite quite similarly and your performance in that series was um, was genius it was uh, the most grounded it was like you were the morality of of keeping the ship on a line like you were the reminder of like hey you guys that are all over the place this is you know wake up and you know you you were like the no BS to the point character and so grounded in truth and reality it was amazing i loved what you did bravo bravo bravo, bravo, bravo. just so great where do i where do i pay you <laughs> <laughs> later on uh, but no I, you know in all seriousness i i don't think acting is easy and i think you made it look really easy oh thank you i appreciate that that's that's yeah. pretty uh you know what it was funny tom caponos you know tom Ugh, i'm a big fan yeah well, he put me in the first one, which was the uh, in the funeral. Oh, right. Yeah. And I think they were testing to see if I could do it or not. Oh. And if I didn't, I probably that would have been it, that one. Right, right, right. And they just it just was one of the things that I ended up doing two seasons. Isn't that great? Oh, it was great. That's, I had the best time. That's awesome. I had the best time doing that. I learned a lot from that because... Uh, David's brilliant. He is. Yeah. He makes, he makes it look easy. Yeah, that's that for sure. Yeah, and when you see some of the other stuff that Tom has written with other actors, and then you realize, wow, David really is, you know, he's able to really take this stuff. And some of the unique stuff to Tom's writing, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, he makes it feel like it's just coming out of his head at the moment. Yeah. Which is, that's the genius, right? Yeah. But, um, you know, I mean, th that feeling, though, of what you're talking about of, I think maybe they're going to have me for one, and, and if I... If I can do this, maybe they'll bring me back for more. And then it happens. Yeah. That happened to me this year, too, recently. I'm in the middle of it, and it's it's the best feeling in the world, isn't it? Yeah. It really is. It's I really didn't think, like, oh, I could be onto something. I better be good. Right. I just, I'm terrified when I show up. I don't show <laughs> I it, we all are, but I'm right? terrified. I'm yeah. looking at me lines a thousand times, right. and then they go they go through the, the, the run through. Bef yeah. Before they actually roll it, and I'm a bliving idi idiot. <laughs> I get, and I'm looking at wow. the pictures of the paper. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, I just it's like a mental block. Right. Right. You know, but then when it's action, you kind of step out of yourself. I do. I feel yeah. like I'm not. I don't know what's happening. Right. You know? Absolutely. But then I look at it back. I'm like, that ain't bad. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Well, it's like, but it is terrifying yeah. acting. Do, do you get that, Reese? Yeah. I mean, I think it's kind of like, I mean, playing music. Yeah. I, I, the the, you know, the the little experience that I have doing that like when we performed this song from this movie uh, that we did a performance and my takeaway is that it's sort of like time traveling you know because you're in this this thing for a minute and time is kind of suspended and, yeah. and I think yeah. I think acting to a lesser degree is sort of it is you you do go into a you go into the another you d if you're if you're so, doing it right. If you're doing it right, that's when they yell cut and you say, what just happened? Yeah, yeah. And that's the best feeling. That's when, that's the, you know, and you, you always try and get to that. You know, not necessarily, uh, it always happens. Yeah. 
I mean, think all your years on 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 the stage, right? It's that same pre-show jitters, like we're gonna go kick. The, yeah, you know, yeah. You know, and yeah, uh, and then you get out there on stage, and it's the best thing ever. Yeah, you know, I find that easy. Right, mm. I could do it in my sleep, but acting is I find it a. Uh, you can't. I love it. I love doing it, but it's yeah. It's a whole for me. It's a whole different ball game. Yeah, you know. So, but uh, it's all good. It's all good. It's expressing yeah. expressing oneself is all good. I think there's such a sim similarity there. I think you're using the same part of your brain. I mean, and there's so many people that do both. And uh, I think it's great this time that we're living in right now that people are allowed and embraced to do to do both. Yeah. Um, when I started out, it was the early '90s, late '80s, early '90s, and and. You didn't dare cross over. Even Madonna tried with a couple of movies, and they didn't really let her go any further. You yeah. Know? And she wasn't a bad actress at all. It was just that during that time period, yeah. it, you were only allowed so culturally yeah. to be... And, and it's great now that, you know, you can. I you think, can pretty much do anything now. Yeah. Anyone can do anything. Yeah. You know, Yeah. TV commercials, people are fighting right. to do them. You see yeah. Samuel Jackson doing fighting it. to do them. Yeah, you yeah. know, like fifteen years ago. Yeah, that wasn't wouldn't cool. nothing to do with it. Yeah, they maybe cool. go to Japan, yeah. right? Do one that no one's going to see. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. When when I was a kid, a friend of my dad's, a very 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 well known actor, yeah, but he would sneak off to Japan, and we were like, "How is he a millionaire? This guy." Yeah, you know, and he would sneak off to Japan, and they, you know, they pay a man over fist. Yeah, to do these sneak secret commercials that you couldn't do that anymore. And there was no internet to prove to <laughs> see to see that it was done there. You know, right? Um, let's play another song. Yeah, um, yeah. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Let's it's all good, man. This is good stuff. This this uh, this movie is basically set in you know mid 80s late 80s well rock. it's set it's kind of set now but, but you're, stuck you're, you're in still that time you, period. the band is yeah, stuck in there we are yeah they're mentally. trying to be relevant yeah, yeah. we're trying to catch up <laughs> we're, tr we're trying to be him yeah power balance <laughs> right what no power term, balance what a term <laughs> what a term we'll have to dig out a classic uh power is ballad. sister christian a, a power ballad oh yeah it is right. Yeah. I think Ozzy and uh, what's her name? Uh, Lisa. Come uh, on. I know her. She's a from friend. the Runaways. Yeah. Um, they did that. Lita song. Ford. Lita. Ozzy and Lita did that thing yeah. in '88 that was yeah. huge, right? That's a power ballad. Yeah. I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna play though. Motley Crue, "Looks That Kill." You're listening to Jonesy's jukebox on KLOS with my guest Jake Busey and Reese. Oh, he does it again. <laughs> You're listening to Jonesy's Jukebox on Cal OS with my guest, actors Jake Busey and Reese Coiro. Bada boom. Bada bing. Yeah. B. All right. They have a new uh, movie out called Dead Ant. Yeah. It's very good, entertaining. <laughs> was it uh was it a cheap budget? Oh yeah. It cheap. was it was I mean it depends oh, yeah. on oh, your yeah. depends oh, on cheap. your yeah. I mean it's it's all relative, right? Uh these days a they lot did of movies the visual being, effects in a cave in Kazakhstan. Yeah, yeah. Dirt <laughs> floors. Uh, and and it was all seven year olds that were doing the programming. But it looked uh, like it looked like uh you know, you wanted it to look kind of that style, though, right? Yeah. That it's yeah, it works for it. It's, yeah, that know, was... The photography is actually quite beautiful. Yeah. Like the 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 effects are pretty pretty goofy yeah. at times, flat out terrible. So, but that's part of the enjoyment. Yeah, it falls know? into the category of campy, right? So it's the yeah. movie knows that it's silly because it's kind of it's fitting into that slot you know but it really does have it does have a, it really does have an emotional you oh, know yeah, it's, it's about heart. it's about being it's about you know it's about these it's about a band really and yeah. it's about like you know being being relevant aging maybe yeah yeah <laughs> it's got a lot of themes that you didn't you yeah. know you know I, I like a movie where you don't think it's going to be about something yeah. and then it kind of sneaks up on you who, who wrote it 
Ron did. Yeah. The director. Yeah, yeah, Ron Carlson. Wrote it, directed it, produced it. I mean, he was, yeah, it's a one-man show, but surrounded himself with some good people to, you know, get it launched and all that. But uh, Tom Arnold's in it. Tom's in it. Yeah, Tom's, Tom's great. great in it. Yeah. Like tour de force. The Tom manager. Arnold performance. And, he, uh, he's good in it. He's good. Yeah, he is. He's very good. <laughs> and then an old high school buddy of mine is in it, Sean Astin. We grew up together. What, what yeah, one did he know. play? He's a... Uh, plays the bass in the movie. Oh, the one who gets eaten? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Am I giving it away by saying it? Spoiler alert. <laughs> I wasn't going to say it. Um, but yeah, um, Sean is great. Sean is great. He's so great in the movie that people don't realize it's him. I didn't know it was. Yeah, yeah. And there's a little, there's some Easter eggs in there. There's for those... Uh, for those Lord of the Rings fans out there. Yeah. 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 It's, it's good stuff. Well, we're going to visit the Duke. When we come back, we're going to play a song live. Yeah. Jonesy's Jukebox, Cal OS. See you in a minute. You're listening to Jonesy's Jukebox on Cal OS. It is 12 minutes after 1 o'clock. And uh, that was Van Halen, Unchained. Do you say one bell? Yeah. I love the way you say it. Bells. Bells. That's some old London stuff, right? Yeah, I don't know where that came from. I some, think because they, they some, everyone... Some clock tower stuff. Yeah. Well, that isn't was, it if you're the cockney, is if you're within hearing distance The bow of, bells. The it's, bells. It's of, a cert of bow. Of bow. Me, which means no one's a cockney. Two people are cockneys. <laughs> you know, well, I'm sure there's a few, but yeah, everyone's a cockney. Right. Um... But that was that. That was uh, that was the thing. If you're born in the sound, I believe of the bow bells, and bow is an area. <clears throat> so poetic, man. It's not not like uh, what's that place? The darkness place. Rough Low stuff. Stuff. Rough stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Low stuff. Low stuff. Night Ranger, Sister Christian. That comes under power ballad, wouldn't you say? Oh, yeah. Or not? Sounds like it. Yeah. <laughs> All the elements. <laughs> the, the formula. The formula for a power ballad. It's sensitive, but tough. Is it? I don't know. Where's the tough part? <laughs> yeah, that's uh, what I was thinking. Where's the tough part? I want to know that. <laughs> yeah, it's just dudes in makeup crying. <laughs> <laughs> the crunchy guitars. The crunchy, the guitars, crunchy guitars. guitars. Yeah. It wasn't, I mean, no one, it was like, it was just the formula. It was the time. It was like, that's what I'm sure, like, I think you said it earlier, the record companies basically mandated that you have one of these to deliver, right? You've got to have a power ballad as the third single or wh whatever, you know. <laughs> right. White Snake, they had a few power ballads. Oh, the Kings. Mm. Yeah. The Kings of power ballads. Yeah. And with uh, Tawny Katane on the yeah. hood of the uh, Jaguar and all that. Yeah, yeah. baby. Yeah. <laughs> Forget that. What was their ballad though, uh, White Snake? Um, Here I go again. That's Here not a ballad. I, Here oh. I go again on my own. That's that's, that's not a, nice a power song. ballad. That's a nice song. That's, that's a, a great a song. 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 Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Um, anyway. Got that loneliness. Why are we talking about power ba ballads? Well, in this movie, Dead that's Ants. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, one of our, uh, I guess. Yeah, our band is known for our band is, is known, known for, for power, ballad. power ballad. Now, and not that the audience sees this. And Jake's but... character is the singer, and that and and that's uh, he loves that because I'm he loves to sing and crooning, baby, crooning. crooning. And yeah. my character is the, uh, the the guitar player, and he he feels resentful that we don't have more of a yeah you know yeah hard right. edge rep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's more he's more about the uh, staying current in a real way and i'm more about talking about staying current but somehow living in the past at least the character your character jake mm. is is so funny the face you pull <laughs> it, it's classic he's really great well thank you movie. really good. it was fun it was a lot of fun you know we just it was like being at summer camp and uh i felt a lot of the time i felt like an observer you know, I was watching, it's like Reese and the Wagon Show, you know? <laughs> and Tom Arnold, really, it was like, you know, those guys were really making all the decisions, and I was just kind of observing. Yeah, but you're, you're in it a lot, and you, you don't, it's not like you're just... 
You know? It's a very emotional. Yeah. It's a very emotional performance from Jake too. It's it's just great. You know? well, thanks. Dead end. You can see it anywhere, but if you want to see it on DVD, <laughs> March fifth it comes yeah, out. On but DVD. tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow is the big. Yeah. Yeah. Tomorrow you Nobody can stream it on DVDs. your phone. You can you know you can go to the theaters. There's there around the country and here in LA is the the Beverly Hills one at the Limley on. Yeah, dead end. Yeah, dead end. It's a great ride. That's the bottom line. Yeah. It's a great, you know, and one of the things that Ron talks about, the director, Ron Carlson, he, he says, you know, when you come out of the movie, you kind of feel like you just were at a, at a show, at a concert, watching, you know. He's like, you're, you get all, like, rocked out, you know. <laughs> so I, I, I think that's, part, that's, that's fairly true. I think it's fairly accurate. Because, um, you know, the movie does have a drive and a, and a lot of... Aggression from yeah. dance and action. Yeah. There's a lot going on, and mm -hmm. it's very funny. Yeah, Tom is very funny. Yeah, Reese is hilarious. He's got, you know, you got to go see Reese Coiro in black and red striped spandex oh, just pants. Just for the pants, my butt, my his ass my butt is incredible. The pants, ass is right. good. It's I noticed very, that. Yeah, yeah, and the front ain't bad either. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the man is well put together. You know, I gotta say. <laughs> Italian stallion, hey, baby! Hey, 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 look out about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you wrote this song, Reese, that's in the movie. Yes, we wrote it together, yeah. Uh -huh. And it's, uh, what would you, as far as the movie goes, is it your, like, uh... Well, it's cool, because you see, you know, you see in the movie, I, in the script it said there was a, you know, a, a little one-line thing for the scene where it said the band writes a song writes or a song. tries to write a song as they, after they take peyote. Yeah, and we had our guitars with us in our trailers, like the whole shoot. Yeah, uh -huh. and um, so kind of staying with the the vibe of what we were doing uh, in between. You know, when we weren't filming, we were in our trailers just noodling around. But yet, and, that the uh, the lyrics to this first verse of this and the chorus came like right before we, right it? before we were shooting. Yeah, and it was just like, why don't we try this? And we and it and it plays really great in the yeah. movie. Yeah, I love I the way the, it plays. In the yeah, movie. the first line written was. Reese comes up and he says something about the ch 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 cherry cola, and that was that kind of that kind of led the direction of yeah. the song, you know. It was yeah, fun and silly. Uh, let's. Uh, so this, this is it. We're gonna play it live. Yeah, and this song is uh, it, it comments on a particular area of the female body that uh, is not often seen. Yeah, actor Jake Busey <laughs> and Reese Coiro. Did I get it? See. Si, 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 si. Okay, we're gonna play it now. Here we go. Let's see what happens. Can you hear? Yeah. yeah. Okay. How's that? How's that? There's a reverb. I don't need reverb. <clears throat> okay. Is it not working? Yeah. Playing some music on the radio with Steve Jones. All right. Ready? It was a hot summer's night, she was sweating all over. She went to the fridge for a ch -ch cherry cola. I said, hey girl, I wanna get to know ya. I can almost see ya. Areola, she wore a rock and roll tee, cut up on the side. It was only in the front that she bothered to hide. She moved to her left, so I peeked to my right. I said, oh my Lord, it's such a wonderful sight. It's a side boob. Come on, sing it with me. Side boob, baby, naked and free. Side boob, just like the D cup K. The sugar sweet, baby, I could eat all day, yeah. Well, I see it from the side, and I like the slope, yeah. Creamy hot butter on my breakfast toast. I start my engine, baby, pull my choke. I got a full tank of gas, I want a motorboat. I come along. A country mile. I seen a lot of tour group is nothing like your style. I want a rendezvous. Show me what number to dial. Now spin halfway around and let me see your profile. That's your side boob. Come on, sing it with me. Side boob, oh baby, naked and free. Yeah, side boob, just like the teacup cake. The sugar sweet, baby.
Pulls out a A, B, a C tucked underneath your T. Size don't matter, baby. It ain't important to me. What can I do to set them free? I know that there's a present waiting just for me. And it's your side boo, baby, sing it with me. Side boo, yeah, naked and free. Yeah, side boo, just like a teacup cake. The sugar sweet, baby. Listening to Jonesy's Jukebox with my guest actors Jake Busey and Reese Coro. Ciao, ciao, ciao. Ciao, bello. Ciao, bello. Um, that was White Snake. Is this love? Yeah. Did they have a bird in that video? I can't remember. Was she in that one too, Tony Katane, or was she just in the. Uh, I, I think she was married to the fella. Yeah. Yeah. I think she was probably in all of them. I, you know, that would be my guess. Yeah. Like, I'm not the uh, aficionado on that. I, I hung out with a couple of nights. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Silly sausage! <laughs> when we say hello. Silly out. sausage! Oh. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to brag. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything else. Silly sausage! <laughs> um, <laughs> Ever the gentleman. We, we do appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> uh, before that was uh, us guys jamming to a track called Side boob. Yeah. yeah. Live. It's in the movie, a bit of it, right? Yeah, the, yeah, a little bit. And then it closes. It, it's over the end credits. Yeah. Uh, so we are... What are we doing? We're going to, the Duke? Yeah. We're going to visit the Duke. When we come back, uh, we're going to do some more chit-chatting, having a good time here on the box. See you in a minute. You've been listening to Jonesy's Jukebox, KLOS, with my guest, Jake Busey and Reith. He's sorry. He's Coyro. Hey. Hey. Hey, Bello. Hey, ciao, Bello. Ciao. Yeah, ciao, Bello. Do you like my American accent, Reese? Yeah, jukebox. Hey. <laughs> I'll do the American, you do the English. Ready? Yeah, no problem, mate. All right. Now we've done visited the Duke. Yeah, what we, we, what we going to do now? We, uh, we, we done with the Duke, yeah. And now we're going to wrap it up in a little while. <laughs> I, I like his American. He sounds like he just came off of The Sopranos. It's awesome. Oh, it does. I thought it sounded like uh, some Midwestern newscaster. Yeah, exactly. My, my exactly. English accent. <laughs> Your English accent. <laughs> Can you do it? You guys were great. You got I, any accents? I, I don't <laughs> claim to know anything, Mike. Um, you, you're the Australian. Okay. Good eye. I'll be there. Good eye. Yeah. Yeah, in in the air back in my ute. That's right. I'll be After down. we have a surf. <clears throat> After you have a what? A surf, you know, in the water. Oh, uh, surf. Sort of. Ocean, yeah. Surf, I see in surfing. I'll be down in Malibu on my board. There he is. Board. Yeah. Board. On my board. Yeah. <laughs> um, you got anything else happening there? Me? Um, you got a movie coming yeah, out? Yeah, yeah, you know, aside from this amazing dead ant film. <laughs> <laughs> I love the awesome. way he's always like putting it in there. He's so, a pro. He's a pro. Um, th you know, I was fortunate this past summer to work on the Netflix Stranger Things show. So that season three will be uh, hitting the 4th of July, so everyone's kind of excited about that. Yeah. Myself, myself included. The first season did well, right? It, it was. It did pretty good. And then the second season did better, and um, I think I think there's a mayhem around it that's a, a bit global, and it's not something that I've experienced uh, yet. So uh, I Jake hear Busey, that it's you're on fire, crazy. buddy. You're on fire, Ow, and rightfully so. The, the, <laughs> the phone so. don't stop ringing. The yeah. phone's always ringing. It's on crazy. This guy. Yeah, and I'm I'm working on a show right now with the with some great girls, um, Jessica Alba and um, Gabrielle Union. Oh, it's a show called LA's Finest, which is oh, yeah. um, a carry-on of of Bad Boys, 
but it's it's the two of them as undercover cops. So it's LA's finest, of course. So what channel's yeah. on? Uh, that'll be on Charter's new streaming network when it launches in April. Yeah. Yeah. Fine AF. Yeah. And, and what about you, Reese? Uh, me? Oh, God. You I got a construction I got, company. I, know, yeah, I got my construction company. <laughs> uh, I'm driving around in my buddy's tour van. That's my one vehicle. Taking lifts. Keeping it real. Keeping man. it realer than real. You know, listening yeah. to the terrestrial radio. I got to, you know. I gotta say, as a dinosaur who listens to, not that that's I'm you're not you're not negative. the only one. I know I'm not the Some only one. Some people don't want to mess. But around. I gotta say, big thank you to you, man, for the many years of 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 quality radio. Thank you. Nice. Okay. I'll give a getting some good love in Amen it. Amen. Yeah. Acting, radio. Yeah. yeah. Double threat, man. Look out. Watch Jonesy. out. Watch out. <laughs> yeah. He's back. <laughs> I love it. Hey, listen, thanks for coming by, guys. I hope oh. you had a good time. Thanks for having us. Yeah, man. man. Fantastic. Yeah. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow, 12 Bells, Friday. And uh, it's going to be hot this uh, weekend. Nice. Warm. Love that. Seems like it's already dried out after our, our oh, don't floods. Don't say that. Don't say that. Oh, it's, a dry day. it's a dry day out there. Yeah. LA. I love it personally. I like the heat. I, like I do too. I do too. Yeah. I just don't like the extra heat when it's fires. I tell you, the weather though has been just fantastic this week. This is why beautiful we, uh, LA. This is what we live for. This yeah. is why we live here. Yeah, baby. So thanks for having us on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank yeah. It, you. Was, it was freezing last night. I went for a walk. Yeah, yeah. It's so nice. Down in the thirties. Yeah. I'm up in the canyon up there, and it oh, was yeah, thirties. Yeah, it was. It was thirty-six. I thought we might. We're gonna get some snow. You know, snowy nice. LA. That'd be amazing. I don't think that's ever happened, is it? I, I, my, well, you get I, it. You get at it. At my post office in Echo Park, there's a pictures of Echo snow? Park in the snow in the 50s, I think it was, or wow. the 40s. Okay. Yeah. We had snow in Malibu in the 80s. My, my mom took pictures. It's pretty cool. There's, there's a ton of it up, not yeah, far from um, Angeles Baldi. Crest. Yeah. You know? Angeles Crest. Not Fraser so Park. Right, right. Tons right. of it. Yeah. Get All your right. snowboard on. <laughs> Thanks for coming by. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.